the awesome wombat facts that will make you a mega fan of this marsupial. There's more to these Aussie animals than meets the eye. Like their tree climbing cousin, the koala, wombats are marsupials. This means that they are part of a particular group of mammals, who have pouches where their newborn young develop. Wombat babies are born super small and helpless, so the pouch is a safe place for them to grow up and get ready for the world. These are the common wombat, also known as the bare-nosed wombat, the southern hairy-nosed wombat, and the northern hairy-nosed wombat. All three species live in Australia, including on the island of Tasmania. They have a variety of habitats, including mountains, forests, and grasslands. Wombats, aren't as small as you might think. An adult wombat usually grows to about a meter long, the same as a medium-sized dog. They can weigh up to 40 kilograms, and have wide, strong feet which are great for digging. As well as being bigger than expected, wombats also live for a surprisingly long time. The oldest wombat ever, a large male known as Patrick, was 32 when he died. Wombats are mostly nocturnal these clever critters spend their nights foraging for food, or digging new tunnels, entrances, or exits for their ever-expanding burrows. They are herbivores, so most of their time is spent grazing on native grasses. Wombats usually spend their days tucked away in their underground homes. However, they do sometimes come out to sunbathe and warm up, especially when the weather is very cold. Wombats can run at speeds of up to 40 km per hour. Good luck stopping a rampaging wombat. These amazing animals can move surprisingly quickly when they need to, and can sustain this speed for up to 90 seconds. There are even reports of humans being knocked over by charging wombats. Wombat poo is cube-shaped, yes, really, a wombat's intestines have a curious ability, they shape their poop into angular cubes. Wombats often mark their territory using their poo, and so scientists believe that the square-sided shape is designed to stop the poop from rolling away, ensuring the smelly signals stay put. During bushfires, wombat burrows become places of shelter for many other animals. Wombat burrows, known as warrens, can be huge. These underground homes can contain tunnels over 200 meters long. And these warrens don't just serve as homes for wombats, they can become vital shelters for other small mammals, too. During bushfires, the tunnels stay cool, offering protection from the flames. Rock wallabies, betongs, skinks and even little penguins have been seen using wombat warrens to escape fires, or hide from predators. A black-footed wallaby was once spotted using a wombat burrow even more than the wombat owner. This sneaky intruder visited nearly 2,000 times in eight weeks. In prehistoric times, herds of giant wombats roamed Australia. These mega marsupials formed a group of animals called Diprotodon, which lived in Australia during the Ice Age. Diprotodons were about 1.8 meters tall and weighed as much as 2,800 kilograms, roughly the same as a rhinoceros. Their pouches face backwards. Most marsupials have their pouches on their fronts, but wombats have theirs facing backwards. This protects wombat joeys in the pouch from being sprayed with dirt, while their mother digs in the ground. The northern hairy-nosed wombat, is critically endangered. Sadly, there are only 115 northern hairy-nosed wombats left on Earth. Due to food shortages and droughts, this superspecies has been driven out of their historic habitats. They now live in just two tiny locations in Queensland, Australia. Luckily, conservationists are working hard to help. In the 1980s, just 35 northern hairy-nosed wombats were left alive, so things are already improving. An adult wombat produces between 80 to 100 pieces of poop in one night, with 4 to 8 pieces per bowel movement. Wombats use their butts to defend themselves. A wombat's backside is their main form of defense against predators. 
When a predator comes near, they dive down into the entrance of their tunnel and block the entrance off with their butt. Their toughened rear end is mainly cartilage so it is quite resistant to scratches and bites. They can do some crushing damage with their butts and use their two back legs to kick their predator away. They may be short-legged, but wombats aren't light. Wombats typically live up to 15 years in the wild, but can live up to 30 years in captivity. Wombats have many names. There are three different types of wombat species including the common wombat, also known as the bare-nosed wombat, southern hairy-nosed wombat, and northern hairy-nosed wombat. A group of wombats is called a wisdom, mob or colony. Male wombats are called, jacks. Females are jills. Baby wombats are called, joeys. A wombat's teeth never stop growing. A wombat's teeth are continuously growing. This makes sure they don't grind away their teeth when munching away on tough vegetation. Wombats are herbivores, feeding mainly on grasses, scrub, herbs, bark and roots. They get most of their water from the food they eat, and can live years without drinking water. Wombats have a very slow metabolism, taking around 8 to 14 days to completely digest a meal. This aids their survival in dry conditions. Female wombats have a gestation period of only 21 to 30 days. The joey spends the first five months of its life in its mother's pouch. Wombats are the largest burrowing animals. Wombats main predators are wild dogs, foxes, dingoes, bird of prey, and Tasmanian devils. The burrows of wombats can be as long as 100 feet. Wombats all collectively have a large head, a short neck, a stocky build, a short tail, short legs and strong claws. Wombats have poor eyesight, and small eyes, but an excellent sense of smell. When looking for interesting facts about wombats, we actually found a lot of weird claims. One was that the wombat can fly. We have come to the conclusion that although they can launch themselves quite the distance thanks to their speedy powerful legs, it is not true that the wombat can fly. Facts about baby wombats Wombats are about the size of a jelly bean when they are born. A joey will drink its mum's milk for about a year. Wombats are blind when they are born. While wombats usually give birth to a single joey, twin wombats are possible. Wombats are protected under the NSW Biodiversity Conservation Act 2016. It is an offense to harm a wombat unless a license is obtained from the Department of Planning and Environment but this doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Wombats are threatened by a range of factors including loss of habitat often from land clearing, farming or housing and also predation from wild dogs. Lack of food sources and increased stress can lead to malnutrition and conditions like mange which if left untreated can cost a wombat its life. Collisions with cars also prove to be a major reason for wombats losing their lives and stark examples of this can be seen on highways in Tasmania, and leading up to alpine areas in southeastern Australia. Sadly there are also landowners who rather than finding ways to coexist with the wombats, instead use tractors to push wombat burrows in some cases, horrifically, trapping wombats inside them. Wombats are good swimmers thanks to their short powerful legs. Highways are now also being fitted with fencing to discourage wombats from entering the highway and instead funneling them into culverts or tunnels under the road. So there is hope for the wombat, but we as humans need to do a lot more to ensure the long-term survival of this incredible Australian animal. Dear friends thank you all for subscribing thank you for supporting me love you.